2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 21 says, Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel for honorable use, set apart as holy, useful to the master of the house, ready for every good work. Oftentimes, we act like the world because we're afraid of stepping on toes. We're afraid of the ridicule or the criticism we might even receive if we show ourselves to be true followers of Christ. And deep down, we're afraid that somehow by letting go of this world, we might be missing out. But when we separate ourselves from this world, we are not depriving ourselves of any good thing. Rather, we are taking hold of the promises of God, which are far greater. When you desire to walk with Jesus Christ, he will demand that you take up your cross. And for you to take up your cross, you have to put away with all that the world offers. In Matthew chapter 19, we're told of a rich young man who comes to Jesus and asks the question, What good deed must I do to have eternal life? I keep all of your commandments. I've never killed. I'm not a thief. I love my neighbor. So what else do I need to do? And the answer that Jesus gave this young man demonstrates my point that you cannot walk with God and still love the world. You need to turn your back on this world and what it has to offer. Jesus responded to the young man in Matthew 19 verse 21 and said, If you would be perfect, go sell what you possess and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven, and come follow me. Verse 22 then goes on to say, when the young man heard this, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. The rich young man was willing to do everything apart from turning his back on the world. He was willing to follow every commandment as long as he could still have one foot in the world. But we cannot do that. Christ demands that we come to him with a willingness to leave all that is in this world. He demands that we be all for him. Anything less than total commitment to the Lord is not acceptable. Anything less than your full devotion to him will not be acceptable. So as you go about your daily life, put God first. Turn your back on the world. Turn your back on sin and walk in habitual fellowship with Jesus Christ. Let your walk be on that in obedience to the Lord. Romans 12 verse 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God what is good and acceptable and perfect. The opposite of conformity is a renewed mind. The way God views the world and our lives is counterintuitive to everything our culture teaches. Therefore, we must be willing to let him change us and reteach us how to think. Then we will be equipped to live a life that is pleasing to him. And yet, without even realizing it, we face an enormous amount of pressure every day. We face pressure from our society, our peers, even our friends and colleagues at work. Pressure to achieve worldly success and pleasure, to accumulate wealth, to find lasting romantic love. None of these are necessarily bad things, but the world put these things in place of God and often encourages sin in the pursuit of them. It's easy to fall into conformity, to do what unbelievers do and to be as they are. But as Christian men and women, we are called to model our lives on Christ. We're called to live in a godly manner, fearing the Lord and obeying Him, even when it doesn't make sense to the rest of the world. 
So for the believer in today's world, we live in a world that is spiritually dark. Morals are out the window. There's no real accountability from people anymore. Pleasure and selfish gain is the primary spirit that determines a lot of people's actions as we live in such a world. How can you and I walk with the Lord? How can we walk with Him in habitual fellowship? How can we walk with Him in obedience? Well, I believe that two cannot walk together if they are going in two different directions. You cannot be on separate paths and expect to walk in unity with someone. So in order for us to truly walk with the Lord, we need to turn our backs on the world and what it has to offer. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 14 to 16 says, As obedient children, do not be conformed to the passions of your former ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct, since it is written, You shall be holy, for I am holy. The reason the world acts the way it does is because of ignorance. They do not comprehend the beauty and the worth of the gospel. They do not understand that what God has in store for them is infinitely better than the empty promises of sin. But God has opened our eyes. He has called us out of our ignorant ways and to something greater. 2 Corinthians 7 verse 1 Since we have these promises, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from every defilement of body and spirit, bringing holiness to completion in the fear of God. In the Old Testament, the Hebrew people would perform ritual cleansings after encountering anything unclean. What if we showed that same kind of dedication to the spots of worldliness in our lives? What if we were determined to make a clean break with any habit, any behavior, any attitude not pleasing to God? Turn away from anything that sidetracks you from walking with Jesus. Turn away from everything that tries to derail you from walking with Jesus. If you've ever read the story of Lot's wife, you'll know what I'm talking about as I say, Turn your back on the world. The angel of the Lord instructed Lot and his family not to turn back. And she disobeyed this order, and therefore she could not walk in agreement with God. I believe in looking back, it was symbolic that there was still some attachment, some longing for the world which she was leaving behind. And once again, how can two walk together unless they agree? So in order to walk with the Lord, you absolutely must turn your back on the world. Turn your back on sin. This doesn't mean you stop caring for others or you stop witnessing to unbelievers. It means that you rid yourself of all love, all affection of the things of this world. 